What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks blog this is me Sameer and WWDC recently got wrapped up which came with exciting announcements of iOS 18 we are getting a ton of updates to existing app but what really caught my eye is the password app finally making password management an easier breeze on Apple devices though we already had iCloud keychain but it only stored password which was bare bone and it was not a password manager but a password storage so anyway In today's video, let's take a walk through of the new passwords app, and let's find out what are the new feature this app has to offer. Before iOS 18, password management means you need to dive into the settings app. It wasn't the most user-friendly experience. Now, password gets their own dedicated app. If you're already password pro using iCloud Keychain, then my friend, the new password app wouldn't be a very big leap. So now let's take an overview of the passwords app. It offers most of the same feature, but with more organized and accessible layout. Think Reminders app with category like All. pass keys codes wifi security and deleted plus there is a cool new feature which lets you create a shared group in which you can share your password with your family and friends so now let's take a deep dive into this app in all categories as the name suggests you will find all your login details you also get a search bar which makes finding that particular credential way easier you can also swipe left to delete any entry if you want to you can also sort them by date created website titles and that too in ascending or descending order lastly you can also tap plus to add a new entry so when you tap and hold on to an entry you can copy the username password website and you can also move that entry into a specific group and share it with airdrop so now let's select a credential and now you can see your username password website and group you shared this credential with alternatively you can also edit the details if you want and you can also share the credential right from here So that's all about all categories and now let's move forward. In passkey section you will have all your passkeys details. In codes categories you will have all the verification codes generated for two factor authentication. In Wi-Fi you will have all your Wi-Fi connection detail. In fact, you can also share QR code of the Wi-Fi from this app. And mind you, sharing QR code of the Wi-Fi is only possible through passwords app. You cannot do it by going into the settings app and going into the connections and And sharing it, it doesn't work that way. The security section will tell you about all the passwords which are compromised or can be easily guessed, so you can change them to level up your security. So when you tap and hold on to an entry, you will have options to change the password and hide the recommendation. And you can do the same by just selecting the entry, and over there you will have the option to change it or to hide the alert. And lastly, deleted section will have all your deleted credentials, which you can either recover or delete it for forever. You can also delete the credential entry by swiping it towards left. And mind you, all the credentials present in the deleted section will automatically be deleted after 30 days. So now that we have talked about all the categories, it's time to have a look how you can create a shared group in which you can add your family members or friends so that they can utilize the shared password just tap at the icon in the bottom left corner a splash screen will appear tap on continue name the group add people once done tap on create now select all the passwords you want to share and move it to the group you can also add passwords even after you have created a group tap on the add icon in the bottom select move password to group or you can also create a new one but for now let's move another password and just like that you can add passwords in the share group and lastly you can also add password manually by just tapping on the add icon at the bottom left corner enter the title or website username and password if you want to share the password you can also select the group lastly you can also add notes if you want to and just click on save and just like that you have manually created a credential entry and now let's talk about the availability of this app a good password manager app should be available each and everywhere and this time apple delivered the password app is not just for ios 18 you'll find it on ipad os 18 mac os sequoia and even on windows through icloud for windows while existing users might not find any ground breaking new features in this app but the password app is likely aimed towards those people who haven't heard of password managers many people might not even know their iphone can create strong passwords or even be aware of popular options like one password or last pass the idea over here is a dedicated password app staring at you from your home screen will hopefully 
nudge you towards a more secure future. So, are you going to use Passwords app? Do let me know in the comment section. But if you are new to password management, then the Passwords app is a great place to start from. Another great thing you can do is subscribe to iGeek Vlog, press the bell icon so that you get notified on each and every video we post. And of course, meanwhile, you can also go to the App Store, download iGeek Vlog app and enjoy everything Apple content. And if you are finding this video and content useful, then make sure to press the like button and let YouTube know that we are doing some good work. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada, see ya, bye.